Well, here we are. We have arrived at Dumfries and Galloway at the log cabins, where we decided to book last minute and bring along the puppies. The puppies. <laughs> <laughs> So let's take a look around. I'm really stuck in that accent. So we were here two months ago with our friends. Um, we decided just to come on a log cabin trip. Yeah, we tried to be away for a wee while and hadn't been to log cabins for a while. So we came two months ago and it turns out this is the exact log cabin that we went in. So, of course we haven't put anything away. Just got here and decided we had to doggy poo. Dogs do come first. Drinking dog food as you do. Oh yeah, the bathroom. Yeah. And that brings us oh, back to the front door when you're not blocked in by other doors. Oh. And here we have Mama Bear chasing the little puppers. I'm using a selfie stick as a camera holder. It's working pretty good, can't complain. Uh, went to put myself a stick in the bin the other day and the phone bit came off and I thought I'm going to try this with my camera and it works. It's pretty good as well. It's going really high, holds the camera and its weight very well and yeah I'm actually really enjoying it. On a budget. So. Um, I am a lover of beer. I do love beer and I love to drink beer. So when we were in Tesco um, getting all our shopping and stuff ready for coming to the log cabin, I've seen these pretty cool um, beer cans. Um, I'll show you. So it says Crossing the Rubicon Indian Pale Ale. Um, pale golden big hitting Ouija West Coast and it's mango and passion fruit citrus honey with a bitter finish hoppy ending now I have literally just had my first sip and I can definitely say it's vile um, I definitely won't be getting that again Definitely wouldn't recommend it and anyone who buys it has a very strange taste. It is just literally disgusting and when it says bitter it means bitter. Very bitter. I'm all through to get a drink to <laughs> Now I'm going to go and try the next one. So next up to try is Chimera and then Pale Olaga. Cool can again, kind of made me go for it. Uh, bright and citrusy, us hops or US hops, orange tropical fruits, aromatic Indian pale lager, clean and crisp. Hopefully this one is nicer, however I have just spotted that it is from Drygate. Tried this stuff before and I didn't like it. To me it tasted like sewer water or water out of a burn kind of just what you'd imagine it to taste like, so. River water. <laughs> River water, yes. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it a try, I suppose. Oh. Help me know which way to zoom. Please, if anyone actually likes it, let me know, because there's something wrong with you. That one is not as bad, it's not as bitter, definitely has a weird taste though and I would not agree that it's clean and crisp, can't taste any citrus or orange, definitely not tropical fruit. 
I won't be drinking that. What a waste of two pounds. Goodbye Indian Pale Lager. I will not miss that and will not purchase it again. Um, anyone who does like it, please leave a comment and tell me what you actually liked about it because uh, I really disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has their own tastes. <laughs> but uh, I really and, disagree. Um, yeah. It was not nice.